Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our merch store. We'll have a link in the description for that. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Today is April 20th, 2023. It's nasty out today. You can see it's just muddy. It's raining. Uh, kind of had some rain, snow this morning. It's about 35 degrees, I think. Sounds like it's supposed to be like this for a couple days, so it's just, just kind of nasty weather. Um, so not really a lot going on yet. I can't get out into the fields or anything like that. Um, I'm going to give the cow, the cows are in the barn. I'm not letting them out today. So I'm going to throw them some hay now and uh, tie them over. I'll see tonight what I want to do if I want to try to mix silage or just keep them on hay until it dries up a little bit. So I'm not tearing everything up, but... Um, We'll see what happens there, but I'm going to give them some hay for right now. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I got to run over by one hay pile there. Jen and her dad had the skid steer this morning. They were trying to feed out a round bale and got stuck over there. There's a kind of a bad spot over there. I don't know if it holds frost a long time or it's just more kind of a clay patch, I think is what it more is, because I've gotten stuck over there before too. So we're going to try to get that skid steer pulled out and see what we get into. Well, they all got some hay to chew on. Got both sides fed. These four up here, they did have some silage left, but was getting down there. And I think, so it's feeding this hay, I was kind of thinking I'll probably, unless it's really downpouring later, um, I'll probably just feed them silage in here, corn silage. Normally I chop this hay and mix it with the corn silage in my wagon out there, but with the rain, it's hard to chop it out there and it just takes way too much time out in the rain. So I'll probably just get some corn silage and since they've had their hay now, feed them that. It's not quite as ideal as mixing it, but it'll it'll be fine, I think. So anyway, we'll let them eat that. I'm gonna go fire up that skid steer. We'll see how bad that's stuck. And then I'll probably, I'm hoping to take 1256 or something. That I tried starting that the other day, but the battery was kind of down on it. So I didn't try it anymore. So we'll see if it'll start or if I got to jump it or maybe the 10 or start. I don't know. We'll find something to pull it out with. I should also mention too that the uh, milk truck was able to get in here and get the milk. So hopefully that'll be all we got to dump. This year was that one load or one tank. It is raining again now for a couple days, but it doesn't seem like it's really affecting the river that much. It doesn't seem to be coming up anymore it still actually seems to be going down so um, hopefully that continues if we really get some heavy heavy downpours and a lot of rain it could come back up but if it stays about like this i think we'll be all right as far as that goes and the feed truck did get in yesterday too so we got topped back off with that so we should be should be sitting good now for that situation well here's the carnage he grabbed a bale from under the tarp and got backed up here and just kind of sunk, which is not, it's not uncommon. For some reason, this area over here is really bad for that. I don't know if there's a little vein of clay here because most of the farm is sand, but right through this area, if it's wet at all, this really gets bad. I should haul some rock or something in here 
because even I know one fall hauling chopper boxes through here bagging silage, it was wet and we had a heck of a time. But I will see, I'm gonna start it up. I'll see if I can get it worked back with the forks and maybe get it over onto the blacktop and get it out of here. If not, we will uh, have to get the tractor, which I guess I'll probably have to take the tractor anyway because I think I'm gonna put the bale spear on the back to get out and feed the heifers and stuff because that pasture is getting pretty nasty too. It gets a little harder without tracks on the machine. It's a little harder to move that thing around. What we're dealing with here is more of a frost problem because I had plowed this out last winter when I was plowing snow so I think that froze pretty good because most areas didn't have frost because that ground is just like a just like a big sponge over there so we'll see if I can get it out the rest of the way push my luck a little and see if I can get a couple of bales out of there so I can get at them with the tractor. tractor I'm gonna maybe see if actually at 8 30 I'll start and if I can get the snow blower off of it and then I can put the three-point spear on the back of that I think I'll work the best just because then I do have a loader if I need I don't have the spear on the loader yet but if I need to tip bales down or whatever I got that on there but we'll see if we can do that Looks like he found shelter.
I actually didn't expect it to start, but it did, so that's good. Let it warm up a little, and then we'll find a spot to take this blower off. I'm hoping I can, the snow along the road's down enough, I can get it over along the edge of the field where it was, so I don't have to move it again later. And then we'll stick the spear on and see if we can find some more mud to play in. Well, I had to drive over a snow bank to get in here, but we made it in. I was hoping, looks like the field held up pretty good. This is my new seating. So I was hoping I didn't rut that up, so it's probably still frozen here yet along this tree line. Where I plowed this snow out of the way. But we made it through. Hopefully I don't need this blower again until this coming winter, but you never know around here. Well, I have to say this snowblower definitely earned its keep this year. All right, we'll go put the bale spear on. I'll have to pull the chains off too, but I will not do that today. I don't like running them in the mud because it does wear on them, but I'm just going to get this bale put out. Maybe pull the feeder wagon up so I can haul silage out there later. So that won't hurt them just to do that little bit.
kind of running out of dry ground out here. I'll probably get all kinds of comments about how cruel it is that my cattle have to be out in this pasture because it's muddy and it's rainy. The ones that are out here now, this is actually where I got the heifers now. They're standing down behind the barn because it's a good break from the wind out there. But this is where most of the higher ground and stuff is. But it seems like you can't win. Farmers out there, they know that. If you got your cattle out on pasture, you're cruel because they're out in the elements. And if you got them in the barn, you're cruel because you're not letting them roam free. So it doesn't seem to matter what you do, somebody's going to hate you. So I'm just going to do what I always do and get the cows fed. Well, we'll set this down and we'll stick the feeder over this bale. I didn't get any footage of pulling the wagon out of the pasture because the camera died battery's getting low but i'll probably wait to put silage out there i gotta get ready now to go drive bus so once i get back from the bus route then i'll put silage in there and pull it back out well i'm up in the house now my battery died again but anyway i was gonna say they got hay out there so they'll be good till i get home so uh not much going on yet other than daily chores playing in the rain but Hope you enjoyed the video anyway, and we'll see you in the next one.